Hi everybody, this is Leah of CJ Drill. Now I've got a lead check test kit here, and I gotta tell you that if you're worried about maybe something in your home containing lead, this be a good way to check it out. Now I thought it'd be kind of cool to show how this test works, take you through the whole process on an old tool I'm getting ready to restore. Now this tool is probably about 70 years old because I'm looking at the stamp here and the stamp says Mohawk Shelburne. And that's a line of tools made by the Miller Falls Tool Company that went out of business in the 1940s. So we're almost guaranteed that this paint contains lead and I want to get a positive so that I can show you what it looks like. Now first I'm going to clean this area off here because you need a clean surface to test. You don't want any dust there. So this is what I'm going to do. You have to disturb the surface of the paint a little bit so that you can get an accurate reading. But what else occurs to me is there might be actually lead in the metal. So I'm going to try to also notch it a little bit with sandpaper. They suggest with paint that you just take a utility knife and, and notch it a little bit. But for metal they suggest emery cloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go through layers of paint and also notch the metal just slightly so I get a, a reading for both. I think I want to do just a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I purchased the uh, lead test for $10 from a big box store. And this is what comes in the kit. You get a manual with it. Now, if you've never done it before, I suggest that you read the manual thoroughly, okay, before you do the test. You also get a card to check negative results to just double check. And then you get two test swabs so that you can take two separate tests on two separate things. Now this is the end of the indicator that you use to swab the surface of whatever it is you're testing. In our case, we're testing the metal and the paint on this combination square. It says crush A and crush B. Now I gotta tell you from experience, you have to crush it. I'm gonna do one at a time because it takes quite a bit of force to really crush this cardboard. So there we go. There's one. There's a slight pop you here. There's the other. And now we take it and we shake it. And now I squeeze again. That's what we're looking for. Now we know that our swab is activated. Now I'm going to come in contact here with the metal, okay, and the paint. And I'm going to give it a little bit of force, but I'm not pressing down too much, all right? And I'm going to squeeze at the same time I rub back and forth. And all I need to do this is for about 30 seconds. They say it may take as much as 60 seconds. So it hasn't turned pink. So we're going to have to get a confirmation from the test card. So this is a test confirmation card and it's going to double check our negative result. Okay, I just need to squeeze a little bit of the liquid. So, believe it or not, it turned pink. So there's been a reaction here. It's like pinkish red around the edges and what that tells me is there's no lead in the tool that we just checked. I have to quite honestly tell you that I'm a little surprised that this did not test positive for lead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test something that definitely has lead in it and we're going to see how it reacts. Now I'm going to do a second test because I want to show you guys what a positive reaction looks like. Now I have an old car battery and the terminals are lead. So what we're going to do is I've got the second swab here. I'm going to crush it just like I did the other one. I'm going to press down hard. Okay, pop one. 
Now I pop the other. I've got to really crush that thing. There we go. And now I have to shake it up and down. Why I squirt it. There we go. So this little drop of liquid lets me know that our swab is activated. It looks like it's, it's done. Okay, folks, let's take a look. Now that's what a positive looks like. So that's it, folks. Pretty simple stuff, you know? Just red or pink means that there's lead present. And what I want to say in closing is this. If you have any concerns about lead in your house, this may be a test that you'll want to purchase and try out for yourself. Now, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. And the other thing I want to say is, keep in mind, this is not just for paint, but it's for plastic, it's for vinyl, it's for metal. So, you know, because there are a lot of things, not just paint, that we're concerned about. So if you have some maybe children's toys that you purchased at a garage sale and you're not really certain, this may be the test for you. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.